My name is Mark Lusk, and I'm a professor of social work at the University of Texas at El Paso. I'm presenting the second of a set of modules on culture, strengths, and resilience among Hispanic clients insofar as it relates to their mental health. The first series of presentations on cultural competence uh, and working with Hispanic clients entailed a series of interactions between standardized patients and master therapists on how to intervene in a culturally competent way with clients who faced a set of different challenges and scenarios, including eating disorder, stress, and so on. Those were debriefed by master clinicians and gave the viewer a chance to see how one actually does culturally competent social work or counseling in a mental health setting with this clientele. The distinct feature of this first series and of this second series of presentations is that we work from a strengths perspective. That is to say that we're not looking at our clients through the traditional old-fashioned way of a deficits model, that there's something wrong with the person that they need to overcome, which their culture exacerbates. Indeed, the entire premise of this series, of these two series of, of presentations and intervention models, is based on the notion that being a Hispanic actually brings to the case a great deal of assets and strengths which helps people overcome their adversities. The second set is comprised of six presentations by distinguished scholars and clinicians in the field of psychology, social work, and related mental health fields. The first is by Dr. Felipe Castro, who is a professor of, of nursing at the Arizona State University. His talk is on culture, resilience, and strengths in Hispanics using a research perspective. As a longtime researcher who has worked with Hispanic populations, he has identified a number of protective factors in overcoming a substance abuse and a variety of issues that Hispanic youth and adults face. The second is a presentation by Professor Amelia Leoni Carrete, who is with the Texas Tech University Paul Foster School of Medicine Department of Psychiatry. Professor Leoni Carrete is going to speak about resilience factors among Hispanics in psychiatric care. The third presentation is by Fabiola Eckleberry, who's a licensed professional counselor with the Child Guidance Center of El Paso. She has worked extensively with traumatized, traumatized children, and her presentation is on working with Latino children and their families uh, in a culturally competent manner, emphasizing the strengths of the family and what the family brings to the therapeutic environment and setting. Then that's followed by Dr. Griselda Villalobos, a licensed clinical social worker here in El Paso, former faculty member at the University of Texas at El Paso, who is director of social services at the Asleta Pueblo del Sur, uh, social Services Department at the um, reservation here uh, in El Paso. And she's an expert on culture and resilience and practice and a person with 20 years uh, work as a clinician in the Valley and is going to use some case examples to explain how you emphasize the resilience and strengths of clients in care and in treatment. Then Dr. Sylvia Chavez, who's with the UTEP Department of Social Work here in El Paso, is going to do a presentation in Spanish for our, our, our faculty and students who are watching this presentation who would prefer to see an example of cultural competence in clinical practice in the Spanish language, which she teaches in, and her talk is on cultural competence and clinical, clinical intervention. The final presentation is by Mr. Richard Salcido, who's a licensed, uh, licensed professional counselor with the Family Service of El Paso, which is a comprehensive mental health agency in El Paso that treats all kinds of different uh, case scenarios, including depression, trauma, and sexual abuse. Mr. Salcido has had over 35 years of experience in mental health, and he's going to do a presentation on culturally competent clinical supervi supervision. That's because we would argue, as we do in this series, that, uh, that many supervisors are clinically incompetent when it comes to working with uh, Hispanic clients and also with Hispanic therapists. And so Mr. Salcido, who is sort of the dean of, of, of counselors in this, in this valley, is going to summarize some of the principles about how to be a compassionate supervisor. 
Again, the purpose of this uh, set of modules uh, today uh, and in this sequence and in the sequence in the previous set of modules has been to emphasize the positive in our clients, to get away from the notion that being Hispanic is a deficit and that is a risk factor in, in treatment. Our research, and especially that of Dr. Felipe Castro at Arizona State University, has shown just the opposite. So we hope that you enjoy this series as much as we have enjoyed making it. <laughs>